Hola, 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 and welcome back to the kingdom. Today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you why this deck has to be gone. Like Sultai, it's just not even Jorian, just Sultai. So we have some craziness over here. This thing, this thing is just insanely good right now, and it's just it's just destroying everything. So let let me show you guys what this card does in the standard right now, and it's gonna destroy every single thing. So we have two Heartless Act. We got one Balkyrie God of Lies. We got four Wolf Will of Haven. We got one Mystical Dispute, which is going to help us. The only counter we have. We got four Cultivates, which is going to help us ramp up like crazy. So these two cards right here is what we need at the very beginning. So we can ramp up. We got two Beholder Multiverse, which is going to help us scry and draw cards. One Extinction Event. We're going to be calling it with the Emerging Ultimatum. Uh, two Esika's Chariot. The reason why we have Esika's is whenever the cat attacks, uh, we can create extra tokens. So if we have a token with Ashok, we make a copy. If we have a token with the Cura of the Beast, we have another token. So that's the reason why we have Esika's. Two, which is, this card is so good, guys. Like, I have to make a green deck out of this. So after this one, we may be making a green deck out of that. Then we have four binding the old gods because in anything the Skulgari Sultai, this card has to be there. It's this card is way too good, guys. Really, really good card. We got two Shadows Verdict, which is gonna help us clean up anything for rogues and mono red and all these little decks that people keep running. This is the best card for countering that. We got one Ashok. Which, if we have the mana, we counter, uh, we cast it. If not, we bring it with the Emergent Ultimatum. Same with Boring Clicks. We only got one. Three Aldrin's Ultimatums, which we can also call it with this. One Kiora, which we can call with this. Like, we can call so many things with the Emergent Ultimatum. Two Sea Gaze of Restoration, which is, it helps us like a land, or we can just draw a lot of cards. And of course, the one and only card that needs to be banned. <laughs> Or emergent ultimatum guys this thing is good this card is so good uh, i don't know why people were not playing this in send the car we had the we have the cards like there was so many good cards out there and people were not playing that because they were they were so focused in playing some other decks that they forgot about this ultimatum it's really good and a bunch of less guys we have 20 we got 25 lands since this is a very high deck um like everything is like expensive so that's the whole reason why we have 25 before we start thank you so much guys for the love and support you guys are putting into the channel we are growing crazy everywhere discord channel is popping like crazy we got all these new brand new subscribers in the in the channel thank you so much guys for the love and support that you guys do it really means a lot to me and it makes me create decks like this. So you guys don't have to suffer, but I will suffer for you. So yeah, this deck is really, really good. So we'll see how it's gonna do in the new ladder. Since the ladder reset yesterday, we will see how this goes. Shout out to Navar Atsura Gonzalez. Thank you for your support in the kingdom. I'm doing random shoutouts from my subscribers. To get chosen, make sure to leave a like and a comment in the video. Enjoy the rest of the video, and let's have some fun. Alright, we did not get a green land, which is not good. Not good, guys. We need to get at least one green land and start ramping with the wolf below. So we gotta mulligan this one. Uh, this is much better. So, Aldrin's Epiphany, you can go there. What you got, Mr. Opponent? What do you have? Are you having mono red like everyone else right now? Since everybody just starts the... No, no mono red. Awesome. Beginning of the ladder, everyone uses mono red. Rogues. Okay. Take my lance. That's, that's fine, Opponent. Take all my... Okay. Haven't seen that in a long time. But we will take it. Um, There is no black on that one. I 
Alright, so now we got three. We can drop cultivate next turn. Hopefully doesn't attack too much. I haven't seen this in a long time. Oh, when it comes in the battlefield, attach it to creature. It's cool. Alright, opponent. You gonna stop? Please? Are you gonna stop? I don't think he's gonna stop. So, let's go ahead and go blue. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy because it's just gonna become too annoying. Milling us. Not milling us, but getting more damage every time he mills with the thief. What? I still think fast. What? What? Opponent? The 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 fairy? The fairy rogues? What is this? What are you trying to do, opponent? What is he trying to do? Okay, so we got what do we have? We got blues. Right, so we need green. We need another black and green. Uh, we can do green, doesn't matter. I don't know what this guy is doing, but it's fine. It's fine, opponent. Ideas like seconds are fleeting. I mean... <laughs> Very rogues. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. I, I, I get it, but he's just like... I don't know. What? Uh, hello? Uh, hola? Hola, 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 opponent. Don't tell me you're gonna do. Is he gonna do Sarit's in? Oh, he's doing Sarit. I mean, if he does, all he has to do is this. Unless he wants to do just four damage. He's doing Sarit's in. Oh my goodness. What what am I seeing, guys? Like, what is this? What kind of Demir is that? <sighs> you just wasted your stuff. So that's okay, opponent. That's okay, opponent. Uh, we drop this because we can. Why not? I mean, you gave me the... You you literally just gave me the go, opponent. You literally just said go. So, what are we looking for, guys? We can look for... We can go for Valky. We can go for this guy. And we can go for... I ruins epiphany and should be game over because he's not gonna let play the bulky pretty sure I'm 100% sure he's not gonna play bulky so we play Aldrin's epiphany oh okay okay play it backwards I always play that thing backwards I always play backwards uh okay so let's excel you because why not and since you already draw a card I mean, 
So you gotta play, you have to play the first card and then the other one before you do that. That way we can get uh, the counters on him. That way Born Clicks plays first and then you can drop this guy. There is nothing he can do right now. There is nothing this guy can do right now. You give it back to my hand. Okay, opponent. We'll take that. And you said go again? Alright, opponent. Okay. I must have missed something. Pretty sure he has a canter in the hand. I'm a hundred percent sure he's got a canter in the hand. So let's go ahead and play Essica. And we said no. Next turn, we can do our runes epiphany. And... Oh my god, like, I... I <laughs> what is this, guys? Oh my god! Oh my god. I lose the life. And, I mean... I don't know what this guy is doing. I literally don't know what this guy was doing. Like, I just, I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. All right, guys, look at this. Are we going against what I think it is? I think so. Dorian. What do you have, sir? What do you have? Are you Sulta Yuri? I'm pretty sure you're Sulta Yuri. You gotta be Sulta Yuri. Oh, that's a cool land. That is a cool black land. All right. All right, Mr. Opponent, you're doing everything that a Sulta Yuri is doing. So. We'll do the same. Because we'll soul tight just without the Jorion. And just to prove you guys the Jorion is not how you need to. Wow, okay opponent. I see. I see what you're doing. Do you have another one? Oh I should have put that on the Okay. It's it's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah, so he's definitely Solta Jorin. So he's got... One, two. Okay. Let's bring... We need, what, um... Blue? We got blue. We got enough blue, so... Let's go ahead and do this. Right. Uh, we return that. Okay. That's a good thing. Alright, he still played that thing. Not a problem. Not a problem, opponent. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Right? 
So let's go ahead and attack first. Can we attack first? No, no, no. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? So let's play blue. We can do... Willow. Right, and we can play the chariot. And that's it. Let's see. Let's see if he is going to get rid of the Behold the Multiverse. Or see Gate Restoration. I will get the Behold. There we go. Good. Good opponent. I mean, he can play. He can play the Jorian now. He will destroy just one token, which is okay. But we can attack with the chariot. He only has six. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. This is the this is the hand when we need guys. Look. Saga Trium. And then we drop something else. We drop something else and we drop something else. Awesome. This is what we need. And we get mono red. Oh man. Alright, so the we can win against mono red. The only thing is they don't need to get set up. If they set up, then we we are in a bad situation. Set up meaning like he drops a rubber of the reach right now. That will be very annoying. That will be very, 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 very. Because we don't have any removal until probably cast that ultimatum. We want to cast the ultimatum in like turn four. If we can. Right, opponent? Okay. Good. He only received one damage. Not bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's do. Let's do blue. We get this guy over here. Get more green. Next turn we can drop the swamp. We can do cultivate. And okay. Annex is annoying. What? What? We got something really good as well. Alright, so Annex gotta go. We got one, two, three, four. All right, so he still cannot cast Baseless Haven. I mean, he could, but not the way that he wanted to, right? <laughs> so I guess we can do that. Uh, doesn't matter. We got this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got blue, 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 green, green. All right, we keep the heartless act just in case this guy drops a snow land. Then we can, there we go. So now Faceless Haven will die. Next turn we just do the Emerging Ultimatum. Look at that. Okay, he attacks with everything. Are you gonna ring rock anything? 
Come on in, Reenbrog, Faceless Haven. Ooh, opponent, go ahead and put... Put the Reenbrog on that guy. I'm ready. I'm ready. Is there opponent? Just... Just put the Reenbrog on top of the Faceless Haven. Alright, so no faceless haven. Uh, I thought he was gonna put Rindrog on it. He's probably gonna put Rindrog in uh, the Fireblade or something else, so. Uh, Mr. Opponent? I'm gonna play. Okay, so he had that. Not bad. Not bad, but it's not gonna save you. It's not going to save you, opponent. So we need this. We need shadows and we need this guy, right? Shadows better did will erase everything. I don't think Bowden Clicks is needed right now. We need Alruns Epiphany. He's not gonna let me play the Shadows. There we go. So we knew. We knew that was gonna happen. So. We play this guy first, and then we play that. That is how we do it. All right, awesome. Awesome, guys, look at this. Let's do this one more time. Oh, man. Oh man. So we do this. We do this again. And I guess we can do boring clicks. Let's just scare this guy. Awesome! That is awesome, opponent! You keep letting me do the turns and turns and turns and this is it. You know what's gonna happen next turn? You'll die. You will die. Um, Let's see, you got that. We have a bunch of stuff. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. He knows. Guys! Alright, opponent! We have another gray hand over here. Because, first time we can drop the Fable Passage. We can bring a green land. Second turn we drop this, and we do... The Wolf Willow. Oh man, this guy's playing Mono Red. This guy legit is playing Mono Red. I mean, everyone right now is playing Mono Red because. <laughs> Go! It's the reset of the ladder, and everyone plays Mono Red. Right? Right. 
so I guess we can do blue, it's fine. It doesn't matter what we do right now, so the opponent gave us the go. So if he drops Robert the Reach is fine. Oh just rain broke like that. Wow. Alright, so here is the thing. We drop Willow. We get Drop Cultivate. So let's see. We drop Willow. You give us an extra green. So we get two, three greens. And we go for two black. And next turn, if he start dropping all these little creatures, then we just do Shadows Verdict. Not dropping little creatures. It's dropping big creatures. Alright, I would like to get rid of those two. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we receive seven damage? Or do we wait? Can we just we just clean this out right now? Just better. Just better to be safe. We never know what will happen with Mono Red. Oh man. Oh man. What did I say, guys? You never know what will happen with Mono Red. You never know. So, let's go ahead and drop this one. He's got nothing against Cura. He can't do anything. Like, maybe if he attacks with Torben. So that means he has Embercliff. Right? So Embercliff will do. That will do four damage. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, the gay don't like me right now. Why would you give me one land? Like, how could you give me one land? And now you gave me a bunch of lands. Alright. I see how it is, game. So. I guess. I guess we can do Heartless Act. Just in case. Oh, hello there, Mr. Another monorail. Oh, he got the perfect hand. He just got the perfect hand now. Oh, look at that. Artless Ad goes back to us. Alright. I guess Seagate is good. He took... I guess it's good that he took Seagate. That I'm not not too mad about it. As long as he doesn't drop another one. Good. Good opponent. I like it. I like what you did there. I like what you're doing right there. So let's go for blue. Now we already got blue, so let's go for green and black. gonna have to sacrifice that there if he drops another land he's gonna hit us hard yep seven them okay never mind never mind opponent you chose to do that 
So we go Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher. We're still good, guys. We're still we're still surviving. We just gotta get a. I mean, if we top deck the ultimate. If we top deck that ultimate right now. Of course we want. Of course we want that. Right? Alright, whatever we do, I think we're dead next turn. Because we gotta pay six to one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, two lands. Are you kidding me, game, right now? <gasps> My goodness. We top deck and heartless act. What? That is insane. Cannot equip it yet. Oh, -ho, opponent. Cannot equip that right there. All right, game. Give me what I need. Another land. Are you kidding me right now, game? All right, so if we do this, no, we, we need to find. Oh my goodness. What is all this? What is up with all these lands right now? What happened? Game, what happened? Is 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 this my punishment for destroying Monterey? I I think so. <sighs> there was nothing we can do. Like we just draw so many lands. Like next turn he attacks. If we would have done this. Then one, two, three, four. Now he's still gonna equip this thing. There's no way. There is no way. Alright guys, we are back to the wrap up. It plays good. It plays really good. Like, the last game with the mono red. If we would have draw some destruction. Like, if we would have top deck the emerging ultimatum, we could have survived. But we didn't get that. We just get so many lands in ramping. Which, it sucked. Because I, I know we could have won that game. But besides that, this deck is very strong, guys. Without the Jorion. Alright? The only difference is... When people play Jorion, they put four of everything. That's literally what it is. Like, they just put, you know, four Halizag, like two or three Valkys. Uh, more, more Canters, more Beholds. That's the only difference. So right now, you kind of shrink in a little bit. I just don't want to play Jorion. I can stand Jorion, and I'm sorry if you guys play if you guys play Jorion. I got nothing against the Jorion. It's just I see it every single day. We defeated him. I can't play the card. I'm sorry. But this is why I'm showing you guys different decks that everyone else can play without the same meta. So we can change the meta, and that's what we're doing. So thank you so much, guys, for the love and support. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, you are a champion of the kingdom, for sure. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Generals of the kingdom, Albert Franks, thank you so much for your support and having fun with us in the kingdom.